So what I want to do in today's video is talk about which of these two decimal amounts is greater. And um, a popular misconception is to, is to look at this one and see that it, it's three-tenths and there's just a three there. And over here, you have 30. So 30 must be more, right? Well, we're going to talk about that right now. So first of all, let's convert this. Let's convert 3 tenths to a fraction. So we'll go ahead and say 3 tenths looks like this as a fraction. And this drawing here of the square with the three bars shaded in blue is going to represent 3 tenths. This entire box is the whole, and these three bars that are shaded in, these three bars, are the three tenths that this amount is referring to. So that's our visual for this. But I want us to think a little bit about if I took this same whole and just cut it up into smaller pieces. So let's do that. Let, let's go ahead and cut this into smaller pieces. I mean, in fact, I'm going to cut it into a hundred pieces instead of ten. And you're going to have to bear with me and imagine that these are straight lines. So just pretend like they are straight as I draw them. Okay. So the first question I want to ask you is, has the size of the whole changed? The size of the whole, the size of the box, the size of the square has not changed. So now instead of tenths, which is what we had over here, instead of tenths, we now have hundreds. We now have hundreds. So we need to know how many hundredths are shaded in because I have cut the same hole up into a hundred pieces instead of ten. So let's just take a look. If there's ten rows, if there's ten rows and ten columns, then we'll have a hundred. So that must mean we have one, two, three columns of of 10 each so there's 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 30 here this part right here i'm going to go ahead and circle it in yellow this part right here is not 3 tenths anymore it's 30 hundredths 30 hundredths so i'm going to put that over here which is which is the same thing that this represents right here. Thirty hundredths is that amount shown as a decimal. So I want to ask the question, has the amount changed? Have we shaded in more of the pieces? And the answer is no. And so what I'm trying to what I'm trying to show you here is that three tenths is exactly the same amount as 30 hundredths. They are equal. They are equivalent. By adding the zero after this three, all you're doing is you're cutting up your whole into smaller pieces. You have not changed the value at all. You have not changed the amount. There's still three tenths there but now you're talking about 30 hundredths.